<laughs> I just looked at my HUD. I was like, wait a minute. I goofed. I done goofed. Yeah, my current plan, or plans, I guess. I want to at least get sub 140 in this, and then either I do any percent with the suitless route, or I start doing damage list attempts. Yeah, probably. Dark Zero. Oh. Imagine eating lunch while streaming. I was like, okay, I want to stream early, but I also want to eat. But at the same time, I don't want to eat and then... I mean, I could have eaten before stream, but oh well. More fun this way. More fun this way. Oh yeah, it's not like I get the E-Tank this time. <laughs> Imagine doing E-Tanks in 0%. Maybe had a really good start. It's kind of impressive. All right, no e tank.
All right. Come on, Corpius, don't be dumb. I'm Kirby and things. Hey, is it okay if I go on one of your videos, Kirby, and like say the game's boring? Can I do that? I I don't even care either, but like, I still make it, I still like, like talking about it. Because YouTube comments are stupid. Oh, nice misses. I feel kind of full. I still have like half the bowl to go. <laughs> I, I gave myself too much food. <sighs> oh my god. I hit him a little more and I'm gonna stick to me it. Can't eat anymore. World record. <laughs> I had to bring that back. I was like, you know what? Let me try a different layout. Let me try to do the wide layout instead of like my typical layout I use, like just a full screen game layout. Um, and I was like, okay, let me use my wide splits. And I noticed I had that sound effect component on it, active, like still a thing. I'm like, oh, okay, let me re-enable it. I haven't used it in forever. 
Want to become famous? Heck yeah, I do. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Why are those bots back? It's so funny. Oh, they're so obvious, too. It's like, come on. Like, no effort. So, fun fact. The other day, Kirby, I don't know. I felt like doing it. I was just going back through, like, the Sam's Returns Discord. Because, like... Sadly, I wasn't involved with the game at all when it came out, which I kind of regret. I think the big reason for that was because, well, I never captured card. I didn't really care to uh, look into running it. Kind of a dumb reason, but oh well. But I, I kind of like read, read through it back from like even 2017. I was just skimming through the speedrun channel, especially. It was kind of interesting to read all that. I mean, I didn't really read too much. I just kind of like skimmed it. Read a few bits, skipped through it more. But I mean, I guess technically I can experience that with Dread. Or I am experiencing that with Dread. Also, I love how I'm saying I, I can't eat anymore, yet I'm going back for more every time. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. Splits? Yes. These are my PB splits. I can't wait till you beat my. Oh, never mind. I won't beat it. Hey, I go. I've seen people keep. Say that a lot in the Discord, and I don't. I think it's kind of like annoying, personally. Like you don't have to mash unless you really want to go for a top top time. And if you know, if you have a good match, I mean, some people can't mash. I understand that. But if you can mash, there are techniques to make it not hurt that much. But like. Like, people are, like, over-exaggerating. Like, oh, you'll do this, like... I'm, like, no. I don't know. It's kind of annoying to keep, like, read that a lot. And yeah, people don't stretch at all. I didn't stretch, I just forgot, I forgot to stretch, actually, this run. <laughs> but... I've seen a lot of people say, oh, yeah, people get RSI and this and that, like... RSI speed run, haha, <laughs> like... <laughs> or the fact that like mashing accounts for a very small portion of the of the run. You have more important things to worry about than mashing. I mean, it sucks that you even mash, but... I don't know. There's more important things than just mashing. You can worry about, like, better movement. Better bosses. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not mashing bosses.
I'm not even recording. Oh god. I just realized I'm not recording. I'm gonna start recording now. <laughs> cool. And yeah, there are alternatives too. I mean, I remember when like Raven Week was like, oh, mash, 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 but like you only have to mash on the counter in phase one. Phase two and three just use missiles or cross bombs. I'm gonna take it slow. I mean, there's been talks about like if we allowed turbo, like it would be limited. But, like, how do you? It's a mess. I mean, we would probably just filter it out, like, make a filter for turbo runs, and like maybe have it just hidden or something, or whatever. Or maybe not hidden, but like, have a filter at least. So we did a pull-on up already, and like, people did not, like... We're not on board with it, Turbo. Which, I mean, makes sense. Most people don't like Turbo. It's always going to be the minority of people who want Turbo. Like, that's just how it is. So, if, I don't think a poll was really, net, like, helpful. But, yeah, that too. <laughs> but... Hey, Harvey. Thanks. I did. We don't need. I don't think we need more verifiers. That's not the problem, Harvey. We already have like twenty-two people as verifiers. It's more of. Motivating people to actually verify. <laughs> apparently, a lot of people don't want to. Or not? No, I'm not gonna say that. But pretty much coordination, making people, making sure people are actually like doing their what they're supposed to do. I haven't done any verifying in like two or three days because I'm like taking a break because I've done so much. And the queue's just getting bigger now. So it's like 160 last I checked. 165 or something. It's just gonna keep building. And that's just it. Oh! Ugh.
Yeah, I would take our cooldown. <laughs> Wait, you used to have. Like, Snaps of Trends had the same thing where, like, you can mash your beam really fast. World record. But that game also had beam burst, so it didn't matter. Classic, dude. Bad room. I'm not really sure why they don't have a beam, like a cap, honestly. Or, I mean, they do have a cap, it's very tiny. Yeah, I mean, there was talks about that. Like, if we allowed it, we have, like, a restriction. I forget what the number was. 12, I think? 12 hertz? So, like, if you still want to have, like... Like turbo would help, but it's not like it would trivialize mashing. I don't know. It sounds stupid because it does. <laughs> it's kind of the point. But I mean, yeah, mashing to a, to a point like mashing is definitely a skill. Like, if people say that it's not a skill, that's not that's wrong because it is. But it's just a not, it's a skill that's it's not like a oh I'm good at this tricks kind of skill where you know it's, sorry it's not like a skill like oh I'm good at these tricks that just takes a lot of practice. I mean, okay, mashing does take practice, but again, not everyone can do it. Period. Like, anyone can learn a trick. I don't know, it's, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a different skill that's... Um... Endurance, there we go. 
There we go. Endurance. It's not a technical skill. There we go. It's not a technical skill, it's an endurance skill. That's the difference. Maybe that makes more sense. I feel like technical skills are more valued. Hope that may, I hope that's like a better way of, of putting it for me, at least. I want more health. No, it was twelve. It'll been twelve hertz. Twenty hertz is uh <laughs> faster than like a normal match, like a good match would be. That was dumb. Oh. I think turbo is a little different than like asking for a new category. I mean, I, 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 I personally don't like. I don't know. I'm, I'm not like against turbo or for turbo. I've never had a. I never ran a game that dealt with it. <laughs> that's that's, that's my, um, my answer. This is the first game I've dealt with that turbo actually came up as a discussion, like a relevant discussion. Okay, well that's that's your own fault if you do that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I mean I guess that can be an option, but eh, no. Also, it's optimal to skip that too. So I mean, well, that's not true. Whatever. Point is. I think the poll, the poll that was made was kind of like not asked correctly, I don't think. It was more like, should we allow turbo? Yes, no. Which, obviously, most people are gonna say no to. Like, I don't know, like. Deathless Prayer, nice. I think...
turbo makes sense in certain situations. Or games where it's relevant. I think some people like want turbo, like like turbo, like banning turbo for most games makes sense because like there's no need for it. Like, it's situational, obviously. Like. Because no one's gonna really run it. <laughs> it's not a separate category, it's just accessibility. I don't know. You're gonna have like five, you're gonna have like ten runs on it, maybe. Like, it's. Regardless of what, of, of regardless of if we did, if that even happens, we decide visible or invisible. It would be a filter. It would never be a, a separate category because it doesn't need to be a separate category. It's not different enough to separate some from a couple fights. Which is why the filter option is better. Whether or not it's hidden or, or not. Is another story, but oh yeah, that's that would that'd be the plan. Just make it a filter. Either way, it's a decision that doesn't that not everyone's gonna agree with. So Like, right now we have uh, two filters on the leaderboard. We have the copy of the game, so it was physical or digital. And we have the version number. I'm getting off this train. Okay. <laughs> now, granted, we don't allow. We we decided to not allow older versions anymore, which some people definitely disagree with because fundamentally, there's like no benefit. Like, there's no like 1.0 versus you know 1.02. It's like 
run wires are identical. <laughs> but. Like, it's not relevant yet. In case they ever patch anything, which I don't think they will. But. But, you know. Like, someone sent me a tweet of someone saying, like, this is after we decided that vote, or we decided to do, like, require only reach, like, latest. Like, someone said, like, they didn't want to run the Dread, they didn't want to run the game anymore. Oh, they, they were, like, they lost interest in running the game because of that. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> But like the main reason we even pushed that now was because, um, just for the future in case, like, as a groundwork, like, oh, if they patch something, we want to make sure accessibility is here over tricks. Um, but I mean, technically, I don't really have to enforce it now, because, like, who cares? See, Kirby, that's why Super Metroid's better, because it has controls. <laughs> Kidding. Oh my god, dude. Uploading data. Well, also, to be fair, I mean. Super Metroid kind of sucky controls, so I can see why they did that. Like, default controls of Super Metroid are kind of, eh. <laughs> so it's not like a good or bad thing, personally. What am I doing? Idiot. Yeah, I don't understand why Trilogy would change it, like, did that. Why they did a, a Trilogy, like... I mean, to be fair, that was a Prime, that was a prime thing. Prime 3 started that. <laughs> This run's actually going pretty well. The only bad thing was I died.
So Kirby, hey, Kirby. Is the problem that games having the lowest difficulty as norm called normal is the problem or something else? I feel like that'd be an issue with all Metroid games then, pretty much. Like, all the Prime games. Uh... Sam's Turns, Dread. Any, game, any Metroid game with difficulty, except for like Zero Mission and I guess Japanese Fusion. The default is normal. Heck was that train wreck? I think it's I think it's a problem with with the Prime trilogy, not for the Primes, but Prime trilogy and even Prime Three. Okay, Prime Three I can forgive because there was no other version of Prime Three. It was just Prime Three, so they did normal better in hyper mode. That's fine. But a trilogy for like when you have Prime 1 and 2 in there is confusing because normal mode on GameCube is not normal mode on trilogy. That's easy mode. <laughs> easy mode on trilogy. Normal on trilogy is easy on GameCube. So like, if that existed. Like, that's, that's confusing for players who have like already played the game before. It's like, I can understand Prime 3 because there was no version before. Like, normal. Okay, fine. It's like Sam's Returns, you know, normal, hard, and fusion. It's like kind of same thing. But like Prime 1 and 2 on Trilogy is kind of weird, because like the normal in there is not the same as the normal that people would be familiar with. I can see why they did, though, because Prime 3 did that, and they wanted to like, have it like the same. I don't know. I don't know. Where am I going? Oh wait. <gasps> going to Ferenia. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they interviewed, what was it? Um, Jack Matthews. About that, like, he said that Prime 2 was too hard. I don't think the whole game is, though. It's just like, there are hard pockets, for sure. Then they boost in Spider Guardian and Alpha Blog. Those are the three. I think those are like the three hardest parts, like the three different big difficulty spikes in, the, in that game. They just kind of like happen out of nowhere. Like, you know, you go through the beginning of the game, pretty tame difficulty, it gets harder, and more of this is like your, your big challenge. And then... Then you get to like, 
boost guardian, and then now, then all of a sudden you're ripped to shreds. And then the game tones down a little bit. Actually, no, your, your next boss after boost guardian is alpha blog. So you have two bosses in a row. So like, that's like the three. I think they're like the, the one of the problems with echoes. That's really it that I have. I honestly, for me, <laughs> I mean, to me, it doesn't matter. But like, as like a new player, you have two bosses in a row that just obliterate you with like no real prep to get better. I guess. I don't know if that's a good reason or whatever. Uploading data. And then it tones down again. Check is obviously a threat, but that's fine because it's a, a area boss. And then, uh. I wouldn't say Spider Guardian. Okay, I don't really remember, honestly. I don't know if I would say Spider Guardian is like a. You can tell me what you think about this. I don't know. I don't think Spider Guardian is like. The same tier level as like Boost Guardian or Alpha Blog, but I mean, it is also a very complicated boss if you don't know how to maneuver the Morph Ball, so. That's what makes it difficult. <laughs> it's just a Morph Ball boss. But then it gets easier again. Like the bosses can't like cool down a bit until Quadraxis, which again makes sense. It's a hard boss because it's a area boss. Kind of want it to be difficult. Oh, I have some challenge. Because everything you've learned. Actually, that's a good point. I just realized. Also, I finished the food that I said I wasn't going to finish. The Echo's bosses kind of do a good job of, like, preparing you for the the temple boss. You got Bomb Guardian teaches you how to strafe. Well, an Alpha Splinter teaches you how to strafe. Jump Guardian teaches you how to dodge attacks. And then you apply that, and it's a Dark Samus as well. Apply that to Amorbus, you the strafe and dodge attacks. Chicka, same thing. Uh, like Quad, you had in the Spider Guardian fight, like teaching him Warfall movement, like Power Bomb Guardian. A lot of similarities, a lot of like, I just really like realized that right now. Oh. <laughs> Hello, bro. Now... I'm kind of not like keeping up in the conversation because it's lots of reads. I'm trying to play the run, but um, so there are people that are good at games. There are people that are like the, the typical like, oh, I'm not that great at games. Like that we definitely underestimate. And then there's the complete idiots, <laughs> like the uh, that one guy who tried playing this game and like claimed he was bad design, <laughs> like that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I will agree that we're we can be biased a little bit. To an extent. Deathless Pog. I 
I, I love how I'm like casually having a conversation about like with chat about things and I'm like also doing like 0% hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've had one death that was really stupid after wide beam and that's it. I've been like just chilling. Like, <sighs> it's kind of funny. Okay, I'm losing time because I went the wrong way. Like a hot dog. Whoa. Oh. How did he not hit me? It's fine. Oh, I just want to wait for Prime 4, if I do that again. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. I'm mean, sure they'll keep the formula. I don't know I change the formula that much, I feel like. Then again, who knows. I'm really curious how that's going to happen with that game. And what's going to happen. Like, what they plan to do with that game. Really, I am curious. Heck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I mean, you can have expectations, like, have it realistic. Oh yeah, Jagger ta told me that yes yesterday. I gotta mess with that. Apparently, if you're shine sparking, you can charge up your beam and fire it still, while you're blasting across the rooms if you, with the R with the R button. Like you charge it with Y and shoot with R, and you can fire. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. <sighs> so you can, like you could like traverse rooms while just like launching and like open doors. Like that's kind of cool. Like I I had no idea you could even do that.
I if I just counter backwards. Also, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I mean, like... Prime 4, like, I'd be fine if they just went... Did, like, a typical, like... Not typical, but, like... If they just did, like, a standard... Metroid experience. Doesn't have to have a gimmick. If they happen to do a gimmick, hopefully it's done well. But, like, they don't have to do a gimmick. It could just be, like, literally just... A Metroid experience. I'm curious about this time travel thing, if they're gonna do bring that back. Revisit it. <laughs> that is so unfair. <laughs> that is so unfair. <laughs> yeah, so if you if anyone's not aware, apparently that was like from an interview that I read about that. About Prime 2. There was two design choices they could have gone for with the game. And one of them was Dark World, and the other one was Time Travel. And they picked Dark World. So it makes me curious if they're gonna wanna revisit the dark like try to like bring time travel into it. Like try to like do that idea. Then I thought of the bad thing about that. If they decide to go that path, that'll be their excuse to bring back Phazon. Because they'll be like, oh, the space pirates went back in time. Because they want the Phazon again, and then they're going to use it to take over the, the universe. Let's go. <laughs> That's like the only way they can bring Phazon back, if they want to do that. Like, I hope not, but that'd be like how it works. I know, I know, Dark Zero. I don't want that either, but I would be fine with time travel if it could be. It could be interesting. There's no phase on, but we'll see. <laughs> that'd be really dumb. Like, oh yeah, phase has gone, but we'll go back in time. We're gonna get some more. Huh. Again, that's assuming if they even, like, uh, bothered revisit, like, going, going for that idea. Uh. Alright. Oh, I need people help for this. All right, time for early space jump. Let's see if I can do this. Got it.
I hate that trick. <laughs> it's so bad. <sighs> Some people can do it really consistently. I cannot yet. I'm not saving the full time, but I'm saving a lot of time. So that's what matters. Why is the phone ringing? I'm not picking it up. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna kill you. No, I, oh my God, I forgot. I hate that. Those bugs do like max damage. It's so dumb. <laughs> I forgot, dude, that's stupid. Uh, I really hate that. Literally do max damage. On hard mode. Ugh. That would be an interesting concept if they like he revisited previous planets that he went to in the Prime games. Like revisit the Talon 4 or Aether. I mean I'd rather be revisit Aether to, to see how that Lumenoth are doing, but <laughs> that's it. <laughs> but yeah, um Planetary Travel, uh eh. it, it, it was okay, but I don't know. New ideas that would be better, personally. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, so. All right, so show of hands, who, who's watching this stream on, on your Switch right now? <laughs> You know what? If 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 um if Admiral Day doesn't show up in Prime Four, I don't want it. What's up, NK? I've said this before, 
I think Prime 3 is fantastic. They had a lot of good ideas going for it. Like, a lot of good ideas. However, I, they just didn't expand on, like, a lot of them. That's the problem with it. Like, they had a lot of good ideas. They just they did, like, a little bit with, and that was it. Oh, I feel like they had too much. <laughs> like, they just, like, tried too much. And, 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 like, it didn't really work out. Again, I still love the game, but, like, they definitely... They try, I feel like they tried too many concepts and, like, didn't really go too deep with a lot of them. They, they went with deep with a few of them, but... I don't know. Not all of them, for sure. Like, the whole ship mechanic is amazing. Like... I love that idea. Just not really use much. I don't know why I go this way, but I do. I'm like stubborn. That's an interesting idea, Kirby. I'm GRP. Sleep is a thing that sometimes. If that makes any sense. Ah! Do, 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 do. I mean, is it really off topic when, you know, when I'm streaming? Like, who cares? I'm glad people are chatting and having a good old time. That's what's important. Bing, bing, Google, bing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have screw attack. Why am I scared? No! Why am I scared? He says. <laughs> you hot dog. <laughs> that's sub bar? Oh, that, that's a Twitch uh, default sub bar. On uh, your dashboard. It's called Stream Goals. I started using it because I, I think it's not that. I think it's pretty. It's not bad. No major, yeah, no major glitches can't skip suits, but yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what? <laughs> wow! Come on. <laughs> Man. 
man. I'm losing so much time here. Heck. Alright, no more yelling. Everyone's ears are gonna explode. This is not working out. Oh, please. I lost so much time already to split. Pro tip, don't die, don't die. The big reason I died like to that thing is I hit the flame. If you hit the flame, it kills you. I could still I could still PB with this. Can all for no I don't know. That's not worth it. That'd be a difference of two items for restricted. Unrestricted. Like that's and middle item just does exist, it's just not a cat no lead work category yet. Like I assume you're talking about like hundred percent like getting every major, like that would not change the run at all, like really. So what, like, NMG skips spin boost and unrestricted skips diffusion as well as spin boost. So it's like, it wouldn't be different <laughs> at all. Imagine dying like four times the same area. Imagine dying. I mean, we did do that for 0% and 100%. Oh my gosh. Not a good split. <laughs> I don't know if it is, I just do it. All right, have for a hard fight.
I mean, you do though. Brawler. Minimal items skips both suits. Oh my gosh. Mm. They're not dead yet, thank you. Oh. It's just not on the leaderboard yet, but people have done it. It'll be added once we uh, uh, get the queue down a lot more. We don't need another category to uh, add. I mean, even though it would be like a couple runs still. Rather clean up what we have first before worrying about that. I'm doing NMG because I just felt like doing 0% NMG. Minimal items is another sub goal. Hello, PD. Thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Is this world record? No. Sadly not. Thanks for the raid, though. I was wondering, I'm doing a partner push. Uh, so, if you want to help out. Fix your URLs. Think you're unfinished? Ah, okay. Slow robot fight. Oh, I'm nervous for her. Yeah, if only. Yeah, I just gotta worry about the the front of your robots. They're kind of a pain. Yeah, I, I want to get sub 140 in this, and then I'm probably going to either do, start doing damage attempts, or do a little bit of suitless any percent, because I know how to do suitless. Does 100% help me out with that. Just wing it and do a do a run with it. Actually, it probably is this, it probably is the exact same route that I do in hundred percent, just without getting Vario or gravity <laughs> at the end. I could probably get a good time with that. 
So yeah, I think I'll do that instead. I guess I went 40 minutes, didn't do any percent suitless, and then... Uh... Start doing damageless stuff. And never get the damages run. Luckily, I have experience doing it because of 100%. Oh, that was close. No. 100% I implemented uh, gravity delay. So I do the same thing, but I still need to get gravity for a few items, but it's faster to delay it until it clean up. doing goofing off so I'm doing <laughs> Switch. That's Twitch. I do not. I did not drop any frames. Nice job, idiot. I need a missile. Oh my god, dude. So I wasted a missile for no reason before. What is 13X? Sub 140. I should have said one with sub 140 instead. Oh well. I have a 147. 147, not 147. Good thing I was looking recording. But the beginning isn't recorded, but it's fine. I can just do my editing skills.
You know, uh... No, I'll be doing it on normal PD. So I guess it might as well just be hard at that point, because <laughs> later on it's one-shot everything without a suit. Nice. Pretty good split. Ah, uh, you you wouldn't do it because you do camera lock. It's the, it's the ninety percent suitless route, but with less items. World record. Nice. All right, almost done with the run. But yeah, it would just be the same as uh, the suitless route for any percent. Just don't get flash. Well, you either get flash hit or you get cross bombs. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know any other differences. Obviously, no space jumps, no spin boost. Oh. Mm. I. Wow, that was good luck. Huh. Uh, skipping cross bombs is really stupid. And it's just because that one room after Golzana. That room's bad. Like, I tried. I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, majors don't count for percent, so it's just skipping all the extra, all the tanks and stuff. I love how that bad that how that recording just sounds awful because it's like this has like a, a fan sound in the back of the end of it. <laughs> Oops. Well, there's more. There's a few more not required items that are not that you also would skip, like. Uh, Pulse radar. That was cool. Eventually, I'll make it like an actual like a leaderboard category with this, because people have done it. Uh, but once we get the queue down a little bit, we'll do it. Cause it's not worth it now. All right, here we go.
Just down to Raven Beak. TB had a deathless Raven Beak. So it's kind of a big thing that get good, get right. I get a power bomb drop. I oh, actually I should get drops in the fight. This be fun. No, I did that again. I gotta stop doing that. I keep doing that. Every time I see Raven Beak dip down, I just run towards his. I, run, I give him a hug. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that.
I'll take it. I'll take second try. <laughs> Whew. Oh my god, dude. That fight is so intense on level <laughs> set. And that's with that's with space and flash ship. I can't imagine dealing without like either of those. Also, P, this is a stupid question, but that's from Free Roll, isn't it? It's funny, I literally, I got the game, did 380, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna play, I'll do Bowser's Fury once I get 380. And I got 380, and then like, never played Bowser's Fury, and I still haven't seen anything about it. I mean, I've, I like, don't even know what the heck it's about, and I, I'll find out eventually. Like, <laughs> I don't want spoilers on it, I mean, eventually I'll get to it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um... I said I was gonna do it, and I like never ended up playing it. Got Cassie, I kind of figured that much. That's how that's how much I know about it, pretty much. I did, but I, I met my goal. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Uh. Thanks for the GGs. I think it puts me in second place. Oh god, oh, we're approaching 200 runs. Uh. <laughs> uh. No, I'm in third place. Dang it, dude. Heck. That's actually, that's third place. If I didn't die to Raven Beak, this would have been second place. Uh, no, I wouldn't have. Oh well, that's fine. Really? Uh, that was fun though. It was a little stressful at the end, but hey, it's fun. I am pretty happy with this though. I mean, I obviously could improve it because I died like a lot. <laughs> I think I died like seven times. Well, once after wide, I died. Uh. I died in Ferenia, heading to Gravity. Five times? Four times? Three, three or four times? That may be more, I don't even know. Died to Ravenbeak. Whew. Early Space Jump wasn't that bad. Um, I saved eight minutes. <laughs> so. I saved eight minutes out of nine, or whatever it was. Oh, I died. Yeah, yeah, and then I died after space jump too. That was fun. But yeah, this is 
I'm pretty happy with this. I cannot spell. Yeah, I, I saw. <laughs> oh my god, dude. But yeah, um... I don't know, I'm pretty happy with this. I don't really have a desire to improve right now. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. So yeah, I'm gonna. I guess I'm doing. I'm gonna do the suit list. I, mean, I could keep pushing this, but like I don't know. Eh. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of want to, but at the same time, like this is fun. Like this kind of is fun. But at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> like there's definitely an excitement. Alrighty, what do we got? I'm gonna guess 137, because... Oh, 148, never mind. <laughs> I thought I died enough, I guess not. Alright, that's fine. 148, 17. 102. Pretty good stuff. Let's go. 